very sorry, this is rather coming late. It is for the GC students, please. So let's just see how we can do it very quickly. We do this one, we touch other ones and do general revisions. This is Mr. Trumos. So very quickly, you'll be given a table like this, alternative to practical chemistry. You'll be given a table like this and you are expected to fill this. Hope you can understand. You are expected to complete this table. From there, you calculate average volume of acid used. This question is supposed to be open, but I decided to write it here. So now, when you want to get the average volume, you have to this minus this, this minus this, this minus this to complete this table. Anyhow, it is given to you. Just know that final minus initial gives you volume. So they may give you these ones and skip this, these ones. So what is left for you is to know that this minus this gives you this. How you can understand that? They may give you these last ones and leave these ones for you to fill. I hope you are getting it now. So now, this minus this will give you what? 18.60. This minus this will give you what? 18.00. So let's check this one. 20.30 minus 2.0 will still give you what? 18.00. This minus this will also give you what? 18.00. Now when you look at this, you see that this one is 18.60. 18.00, 18.00. So this one is higher in terms of after this math place. You can if you if anyone that is up to 0 0.20, if it's more than this, you cannot use this. Like if you have 18.10, you can equally use it. But this one is 6 up to 6, so we cannot use this one. To get the average volume of acid, it's going to be this plus this plus this divided by 3. Alright, so the average volume of acid you Average volume of acid, that is A, used is equal to 18 plus 18, 18.00, that is 18 point plus 18 plus 18, divided by 3. This will give what? 18.00 what? Centimeter cube. This is it now. So this is average volume of acid used, that is VA, call it VA. And we have done the first one. So it's a solution. The acid there is tetraoxosulfate, cis acid, H2SO4. V is a solution containing 1.4 grams of potassium hydroxide. So this is the acid. This is the base per 250 cm3. Now, this is mass. This is the volume. So it says calculate the concentration of V in moles per cm3. Before we can calculate this one, we have to first of all get the mass concentration. That is, uh, uh, this we are solving the VI now. So get the mass concentration. Mass concentration. Like the mass concentration. So now, what, what, what we want to get the mass concentration? See, 1.4 grams of potassium, 250 cm3. So what we are going to do now is what? 1.4 times 1000 divided by what? 250. This will give us the concentration in grams per cm3. It is a, it is, this is cm cube. Let's have to use 1000 to get it in grams per cm cube now. So 1.4 times 1000 divided by 250. 1.4 times 1000 divided by 250 gives us 5.6 grams. 5.6 now, right? You can, you can be written like this or like this, any one. Like, right? You can be written like this or this way. Raised to power minus 3. So this is mass concentration. So we want to get it. This is molar concentration here. Molar concentration. So permit me to write it here. I hope you are following. Just permit me to write, solve it, solve it here. Permit me to solve it here now. So I will write molar concentration. Molar concentration is equal to mass concentration over molar mass this is this one so what, let's get the molar mass of KOH potassium hydroxide now potassium is what? 39 plus 16 plus 1 39 plus 16 plus 1 this is 40, 56 that is 56 grams this is the molar mass of potassium hydroxide the concentration in most per dm cube is mass concentration 5.6 divided by 56. How we can say this one? So 5.6 divided by 56 will give us.
equals what? 0 0.1. So this is the answer here. 0 0.1 moles per dm cube. This is it for now. So we have answered this what? We have answered this concentration of A in moles per uh, concentration of B, which is the base, moles per dm cube. Now let's clean the board and get uh, let me do it, solve it here. Permit us to do it, to do it, clean this place and solve this one. Alright, let's clean this place and solve this now. Alright, so concentration of the acid. So we use this formula concentration of acid, volume of acid over concentration of base times the volume of base is equal to number of moles of acid over number of moles of the base. See, we are going to use this equation for the, for the number of moles. So now, what we are looking for, concentration of acid in moles per dm cube. So we are looking for CA. CA is not known. The volume of acid is the average volume of acid used, which we solved and got 18. So it's 18.00. Concentration of base is 0 0.1. I will just stop now. 0 0.1. Volume of base is the volume of the pipettes. Here is 25 cm cube. You may be given 20 like this. It can be 20 or 25. So we are using this one. 25 as given. The suitable indicator, before I forget, this is a relation between strong acid. Strong acid and what? Strong base. So the suitable indicator is what? Methyl orange. Use methyl orange as suitable because it's strong acid and strong base. I am not sure they will, they, they will give you to but they, they may ask you what is the suitable of, uh, 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 indicator and give a reason. So it's for strong acid and strong base, use methyl orange. If it is uh, typically strong base, if you know that uh, weak, weak acid, weak acid, strong base, you know use phenolphthalein. Eh? But anything strong acid, most of the time we use what? Methyl orange. Methyl orange for strong acid, phenolphthalein. For strong base, phenol talene for strong base, strong base, methyl orange, strong acid, uh, methyl orange, strong base, phenol talene, strong base, when there is weak acid, weak acid, strong base, use phenol talene. So that's how it goes. All right, this one is just like additional information to what we have made. Okay, so we now go to number of moles of acid. See, acid is just one here. Yeah. The number of moles of base, 2 moles of KOH. Number of moles of base is what? 2. So we are good to go now. Let's fix all of them here. I can now clean this. Okay. So now we say CA, we don't know, times VA18 over all over CB 0 0.1 times volume of base 25. Number of moles of acid 1. Number of moles of base 2. So we cross multiply. So we can understand that. So 2 times uh, 18 is 36 CA equal to 0 0.1 times 25. That will give us 2.5 as well. Let me see. Okay, 2.5 equal to 2.5. Then I did 2 times this times CA, 36 CA. Position of, I'm just doing it like this. Then 1 times all this. So concentration of acid is now 2.5 over 36. So divided by 36. Now gives us 0 0.069. The answer is what? 0 0.06, 0 0.0694 moles per dm cube. So this is equally solved. So we have solved all the conditions uh, that we have today. So alright. Oh yeah, we have to continue in our next video to do the uh, qualitative analysis, Mr. Primus.